What you're going to typically do in your golf swing is you're going to swing back until your body says, that's it. That's all I've got. That's the end range of motion. So if you are compensating in a way by creating excessive extension in through the spine, well, it's going to give you more range of motion and thus a longer backswing. So for us, we need to understand Okay, you currently have more of this ribcage flare or this thoracic extension than we need. The opposite of going into a flared ribcage or an overextended torso is going to be something that feels more flexed or crunched over. What we want is something in between. In the end, our objective is to get to an end of backswing position where the torso can look like it's fairly linear. Okay, so if it doesn't look like I have a ton of arch in my spine, again, this would be the extreme of being in flexion. This is going to be the extreme of overextension. So if I can end up somewhere in between those two extremes, we're going to be right in our sweet spot. 